all right good morning gentle people welcome to the mosque like share subscribe leave a comment and hit the noti notification button really leave a comment gentle people can you go far if you can leave a comment when you like and you share yeah so we can get the message across so this morning we are going to touch upon two topics um one very emotional to me because the state of Jamaica, you know, anything you hear somebody lose in life, it's just very emotional. But first, I could touch upon what go on with Windalco and the chemical spill. So, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, they have a major chemical spill in the rear cobra and nepa and various steam go and all of the fish them dead all of the fish no fish in the water and this thing has been happening over the years you know chemical spill chemical spill and the residents have not been compensated we don't see what happened what, what, what necessary measures are put in place to stop this chemical spill with how the world are transparent now and we are talking about um, every country in the world that try to deal with climate change and all these things and yet still Jamaica they are at a level where these major corporations can have them chemical spill in the river and nothing is being done about it remember you know, fishing is a livelihood in Jamaica and enough, enough people in the, in the rural area not and even not even in the rural area, fishing is a major industry in Jamaica. But say for the rural areas, enough people rely upon the river water and all these things for sustain them, them farm them animals and even for drink. Now, if you have a situation like this where the chemical keep on a spill in the river and nothing is being done about it, what happened? You are left the people them to suffer. Ah oh boy. No. So this happened two weeks ago. The big major chemical spill. All of the fish them dead off. And then the residents them now make some more further check. This this happening now in a Zephatan. Zephatan. I do all of my checks to find out the Zephatan in a St. Catherine or Clarendon. But most likely a St. Catherine. You can't, you can't do no checks on that. But the people in Zephatan are say, yo, the water red like blood. The water is literally red like blood. No fish. You see me? And now Nepa, um, Senator Matthew Samuda go say, um, Nepa visit as the people make them cry, as what they usually do. And there's no trait or signs of chemical spill from Windalco. So what make the water red like blood? That more and more. What cause the water for red like blood? Come on, man. Come on, man. One of the things that people are idiot. Remember the heights of corruption is Jamaica is beyond um, comprehension, you know. Jamaica is so corrupt. So why are we, why are we are going to sit down here so now as people and see the river red like blood and all our fish them dead? And Senator Matthew Samuda will come out and say there's no chemical spill from Windalco. Come on, man. One of the things that people are idiot. One of the things that people are idiot. But throw too much corruption there, Jamaica. We are going to just hear say there's no chemical spill, so there's no action can take against Will Danko, and he just leave like that. At them level, a, a, a fool is this who want to cut out, out of Jamaica. Because of nonsense that. It not take common sense. It not take people who can know ABC or 1, 2, 3. If you know, say, yo, something wrong with the water, if the water red like blood and all, I fish them dead. So, oh, no, I'm going to tell we, Nepal, Carl Samud, uh, Matthew Samud, I'm going to say, um, there is no trait or sign of a chemical spill. So basically, when I say Windalco cannot be all that fault. So if people want compensation, if, if a lawsuit will take up against this major corporation, when I say, yo, um, they can't be all that fault. We need to get some independent bodies. Some people, people need to protest and ask some independent, independent bodies from different countries to come test these waters and really say, I give you a real answer for tell we say chemical spill now night because we know you that we know it's a chemical in our water. Anyways, 
Senator Matthew Samuda, stop the Jamaican people for idiot. I leave that there, so. Alright, next topic we want to touch upon. We may tell us a very emotional. You have this teacher by the name of Dennis Matar, six, age 69, retired, was 40, was spe, um, spent 40 years, 40 years as a physical education teacher in Itaki High School. And it pained me hard to say this that man from bike rushed the man, wet him up, take away him like a firearm, and another life lost. And based upon what people are saying and the cries from the community, this man was loved. He was a good citizen. You know? Walk around him, help everybody, him help the youths, them, him guide the youths, them, the whole community at morning. I don't know him personally, but based on the response I get, I'm at morning too because it's just another life lost. But condolence to his family, to the Matar family, you know, condolences. But I can say this, I'm saying this to say this to other Jamaicans who might have license a firearm. I don't know a scenario if, if, based on what we know, it has to be people who are close to him. I know some of our lives of fire um, to carry out this because it's a peaceful community as far as we can hear. So I'm saying this now. I'm saying this now to anybody with a lives of fire um, in Jamaica, whether female or male. Listen, be paranoid. <coughs> Sorry, be very paranoid. Your lives of fire um, should be a secret. <coughs> Sorry, your license firearm should be a secret. Nobody should know that you have a license firearm unless it is needed. Unless it is needed, then a man would know say, Yo, <coughs> matter of license firearm or whoever I be of license firearm. Trust and believe. If your own family, if them know say you have license firearm, we set up them friend for kill you and take you away. So you cannot trust nobody. I mean, yes, people might know, your immediate family might know. But keep in a little circle, don't make it come out. And your school them for make them know say nobody nothing knows say this day in your house, and nobody nothing knows say me have this. Because we know them still, we know them look them 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 them, them criminals still. We know them boy when I want to work still. You see what I say? <coughs> Sorry again. But as I said, condolence to the Matar family and people take it as a warning. When you have a license firearm, nobody nothing know it. I know something where you feel brag about. I know something where you feel walk and it will puff on your waist so people can see it. Because you have the enemy out there where you lurk and just want to bring death and destruction and take it from you. So be careful. Conceal it. Hide it. The only time somebody must know or the sister or people for know is less it is calling to action and you have to use it to defend yourself or life or property. But apart from that, nobody nothing knows how to have license gun. Because they go want them boy who want come for. And in that case, a matter they did come for it. And they don't care if what good you do and what service you provide for your nation for you over the years. I use a elder, they don't respond. They will take your life just like that. Because that's who they are. They are evil. You feel me? Come on, Jamaican citizens, be wise. Everybody with a license of firearm, be wise. Wise. Don't make them money come take on your life. Just so. Because they will. When you have a license, you have to be paranoid. You can't trust people. You can't go any anywhere. You can't let yourself kill this. Because if they know that you have it, they want to come for it. You feel me? With that being said, as a, again, condolence to his family, the Matar family. 40 years of service and as a physical education teacher at the Taki High School and then just take him life just like that. Jamaica, Jamaica as a nation, sick man. You do your job, you do your duty, you, you, you pay your, your duty to your nation and you, you day your retirement stay you now and enjoy life and people just come take your life like that. Eh? 
people need to call out the government for protecting for failure of protecting the citizens failure of protecting the citizens people need to call out the government hmm? they make cry say i go sleep in a house with the door open just to get vote and every year murder rate just keep on going up going up going up this now nothing to do with labor right or, or pmp this need this have to do with holding the people them in power accountable of protecting their citizens which they have failed to do over the last 30 years or more they have failed to do it you feel me i will be naive and will run go vote when time election come and make up being nice because then give, give you some free room and i want five thousand here and five thousand there nonsense man we need to wise up people no need to wise up the the the, the system now protect uno. I don't know if you protest, I don't know if you call them out, I don't know if you make a voice be heard. You feel me? Anyway, this is the mass. I'm out. Like, share, subscribe, subscribe, leave a comment. Please leave a comment and help build the channel so more people can hear the message and more people can help call out the system for what it is. So like, share, leave a comment, recommend a friend to the channel and hit the notification, notification button. You know, and stay tuned again for our next video as we highlight the issues that affect the countries and all of that. So stay blessed, jungle people. I'm out.